Lead for a slip. Hello and welcome to this Group D AFC Champions League match between Nasachi Mazandaran and Al Hilal. The atmosphere inside the Azadi Stadium is absolutely electric in here. Anticipation and excitement. Many fans here to watch the home side with an eye on the away side with the likes of Neymar in their lineup today. Al Hilal managed to scrape a draw with. Nabaho in the first game, who were currently beating Mumbai City by two goals to nil towards the end of that game. Whilst uh, for Nasaji Mazandaran, well, they had a fantastic win away against Mumbai City, so Des Buckingham side, Mumbai City up against it after just two games, if that score remains the same elsewhere in Group D. The sides have been out on the field of play, and it really has been a very, very partisan crowd inside the Azadi Stadium. Masaji Mazandaran will look for a long, what has been a, a perfect start when they entertain uh, Al Helal. They really have been quite lively. They sit ninth in their division, though, in the embryonic league, but they have a game in hand on many of their sides above them. Whilst uh, Al Hilal top their table in the Saudi League. But there has been consternation from some of the people that they're maybe not quite in tune with the signings that they have, and they have splashed some money this season. We we'll wait the two sides out onto the field of play. Our officials, all from the Chinese People's Republic today, just waiting to pick the ball up and make their way out. And this crowd has been building for a long time this afternoon, stroke early evening. And the expectation has been pretty much on point. Capacity of 15,000 inside the Azadi Stadium. I think we're going to be somewhere in the region of about 10 or 11 looking at it. But uh, manager Mehdi Rahmati will certainly, certainly be looking for his side to continue. This is... Uh, First time into the Champions League. They finished fourth but got into the playoffs due to Youngbuk winning the double in their division. So that has given them every chance of going through. They came off um, a pretty good result. Oh, hello. Well, they have been Champions League winners. 1991, 2000, 2019 and 2021. Last season they lost in the final to the Urawa Red Diamonds. They've got a pretty impressive record. They played 155 times in the Champions League. 77 wins, 42 draws and they've only been defeated 36 times. So the Iranian side have certainly got their task cut out. And with the forward prowess that Al Hilal have, it's going to be a tough ask, but they are confident and they'll be looking to make sure that that confidence is substantiated by a good performance on the pitch. First sighting of the players for the crowd. lot to play for both sides have made changes from their first lineups just the one change that comes in midfield whilst Al Hilal they've made three changes we'll go through the teams very shortly for you Mark 
one everybody's eyes seem to be trained on at the moment for Al Hilal. The Saudi Pro League certainly has been beefing itself up. And they will want some return on their investments, you fancy. The horns inside the stadium wrapping around here. Test of character, a test of nerve. Every Champions League match is worth so much in many, many ways. Experience and monetary. Well, the photographers will now space themselves around the pitch, no doubt, with cameras and shutters clicking at the very presence of the Brazilian Neymar. The blue waves. Managed by Jorge Jesus. We'll be looking to get their campaign off and running, in fairness. The draw was a little bit against what they'd hoped for in the first game. That's the hawk. The side that topped the table at the moment, but there is this game to go. Well, let's have a quick look. There has been just the one change for the side from Iran, and that was that uh, Zamarehan is uh, dropped to the bench, and he is replaced in the starting lineup by Farshid, who's going to drop into a holding midfield role, we believe, alongside Babay. And it's all about what happens in the next 90 minutes, or as we now know, with the new FIFA ruling with the minutes. It could be here until a week on Wednesday if they decide to roll over the floor far too many times. Anyway, both sides in a huddle. Both sides ready to go. A referee today, Xu Fei, Sang Cheng and Wang Di are the assistants. There is uh, VAR, and that is done by Fu Ming. And the fourth official on the tie sideline. That will be in charge of the illuminated board and making sure everything's uh, noted down correctly is Wang Di. Three changes from the side that last entered the AFC Champions League. Ruben Neves is missing. Abdul Hamid Saud and Al Tambakhti are all out. Kulabali, Al Braik, and of course, coming into the middle of the park is uh, Kano, and he replaces. Ruben Neves. But with the likes of a front four of Mitrovic, Michael and Malcolm, left and right, and Neymar just in behind Mitrovic. Quite a bit of firepower out there for the Blue Waves. Al Hilal. It's a group game, it's a second group game. But it's also very, very lively inside the stadium here. Lots of expectation, lots of hopes. Countdown comes. And we're underway. Bushman with the long ball forward. Routinely away by. Oh, we're in the middle of the park. Inside the run through the centre is uh, not as clear as Hardani really wanted. And the ball just goes out of play. Shafani to throw down the line. Mitrovic cushions a header inside, but it's uh, 
Fairly straightforward for Fahid to turn back to the keeper, Rashid, for his first touch of the game. Halal left it very, very late in their first game against Navajo. Ten minutes of slippage time to get themselves level. Fahid is the man that's uh, run into the back of Neymar. It's gone down. Don't get out that injury in the quarterfinals in the Brazilian World Cup finals. Before they got absolutely drubbed by Germany 7 0 in the semis. Anyway, far side of the pitch, Michael tries to play it in. Very scrappy ball forward. Always Koulibaly, Shahrani. Neymar wants to pull the strings. Has he got the talent to do it? I think he has, although that ball's cleared the slightly diminutive figure on the far side of Michael. Yes, then, no, with a throw. And if the game lives up to the atmosphere inside the stadium, he should be in for a cracker. That shit is down. Looks like maybe in the collision, he's gone down and maybe caught or put his hand underneath the boot. You need good eyes if you're a referee today. The manning is going to have to be. Very good. You fancy he's going to have to be quite controlling here. You fancy there's going to be a lot of consultations from captains. And he's going to have to do very much as us commentators have to do, say what he sees and give it that way. Abasi with a free kick. Mitrovic is beaten at the back post, but Alois easily gathers the ball from Ramati. Shafani, Neymar. Nicely worked. Malcolm, Neymar, Mitrovic, Neymar. This will be a goal. Chance here on the far side. Shot across, turned in. It's 1 0. It's Mitrovic. Well, that was beautifully played. There's a flag up on the far side. It's will be interesting to have a look at this. Neymar receives it. Yeah, I can see the problem here. Mitrovic. It's not in front of the ball, but they're offside as they're going through. And a very good decision by the man on the far side. But pace was pretty impressive. The movement was very good. Tucked in by Mitrovic. He doesn't miss, miss those. Well, that's still checking the VAR. But I think the incisive nature there, Neymar, Mitrovic, of course, Malcolm and Michael, but it was Mitrovic and Malcolm that were just straying as the move went across the goal in front of Rashid. Referee is uh, certainly taking his time on this one.
And the offside has been a bit of a huge sigh of relief goes around the Azadi Stadium. There'll also be a, a degree of all the home fans just gripping the side of their seats because that was a, a very incisive move instigated by Neymar. Sharani. Michael tries to give and go with Albright, but uh, just slightly behind Albright, who couldn't swing his right leg back far enough. And when he did get it back, he held it a bit too hard and threw for a goal kick. And there we are. Technical drawing. O level in there. Down the line on this near side. Nice bit of skill, turns it on. The run on now, Azardi trying to get away from his man. One of those games where you feel every single point could be contested. Abulahi there was just having a word with the referee's assistants on the near side, Koulibaly. Albright got a little scurrying to do to get there, but will get there. Michael. Piano down to this near side. Malcolm, Neymar. Piano, little give and go in the middle of the park with Salman. Neymar wants to pull some more strings. Maybe took the wrong route there. Could have laid it down to this near touchline where Al-Shirani had a bit of time and space, but... Belahi's uh, win there has left a player down prone on the on the turf. They're asking for the ball to be put out. I, I tend to concur, concur there that the uh, Lazardi went down um, and stayed down. I may would we'll see now if there's uh, more than meets the eye. Well, it's difficult from that. Pro position and camera angle to see if there was an arm in the back but um, he's a good looking lad a good strapping lad and I don't think he quite needed to go over with that one but uh, he obviously felt more pain than we did in the commentary box which is fair enough oh loose touch there Azadi back on his feet flying now one against five though does well to pick a pass ultimately out there to Abasi Jan Malecki. Bit of space, lovely turn by Fashid, who uh, was caught by Salman. Can take on a lot of football matches, and we're no more than 10 minutes into the game, and Feels there's an undercurrent of needle here between these two sides. A lot to play for. Abulahi gets across. Al Shahrani plays it back, but good work. Ardani. Feel there's a bit more culture at the moment. Regarding the play from the Saudi side, Al Hilal. Oh, but I. Back inside. Kanu to Neymar. Options to his right. He's going to pick it out there. A lot of space on the far side. That's for Michael to get it down. Drive at his man. Tries to get outside of him. Done really well. Can he pull it back? He can do. The outstretched leg. Ultimately, if Vahid gets the ball away. Michael again. Oh, hello, very much playing the football as they want until that moment, which uh, allowed Farshid to get the challenge in. Excellent work this time by Ramati. 
Rashid holds the ball up well, but danced into one too many in the shape of Salman. Rashid with the outstretched right leg. Hassan with a throw. Just let the pictures paint the story of this one. This is going to be a lively encounter. Al Sharani now, bit of space to move into. Options inside. Sulman makes himself available. Malcolm had to get that from going out, but it did well. Salman back to Cano. Cano out on the far side again. Break. Michael racking up the passes here. Al Hilal. And Reich brought back into the side for this game. Ball into the box. Mitrovic gets a bit on it. Mitrovic, good save. Fell nicely at his feet. Drilled it straight at Rashid. Nice work there by the centre half, Balahi. Looked like he might have got caught as he played the ball away, but uh, he's on his feet very, very quickly. Salman. Malcolm. Salman again. Neymar. Salman. Malcolm. It's all a little bit easy, they're knocking the ball around well here. What is the game plan from either side here? Cano. Al Burak. Well, he thought the run was going to go down the inside channel by Michael, but it's gone out of play. Rashid caught into action. Ball fell beautifully at the feet of Mitrovic, who, just as any striker would do, gave it a fairly good lash straight at the keeper. Goalless though, one more to have from Mitrovic for an offside, correctly caught. Chance again here, Neymar pounced on it, but his ball square was cut out. Nicely on this near side. Hardani. And they've given the ball away in a terrible area now, real chance for Mitrovic. Flicks it over the top, Neymar, couldn't quite get the ball down, still in possession though. Canu, Al Burak, Neymar again. Again looks for the run this time. Michael gets in behind off the knees of Essan. Al Burak again. Masaji really helped him to weather a little bit of a storm here. Seen a lot of the football. Canu in for Neves today. Oh, but I... Michael getting involved, Neymar. No width to the left if Michael's that far across the field of play. Neymar, though. Tries to find a bit of space. And uh, a bit like me on the fifth today on the golf course. Chipped it well, but in the wrong angle and in the wrong place. And bunking himself by going behind the goal for a goal kick. Rashid having a few words here with Manning. And it looks like Rashid wants some assistance here. Oh, nice uh, top of the thigh muscle there, top of the quadriceps, which he's obviously got uh, support strapping on. Look as though the end of his game. I don't think so. The reserve goalkeepers seem to be pretty static on the bench there. Surprising the power that goes through those muscles for goalkeepers with their goal kicks and everything else. He's certainly uncomfortable with the niggle he has there. 
Unfortunately, it looks a little bit of a head shake as well. Could have been one that he was carrying into the game and they were hoping to nurse through. Well, he's going to go back and take this goal kick. Seventeen minutes have elapsed here at the Azadi Stadium is goalless between the two sides. I've seen Nasaji and Al Hilal. Offside goal from Mitrovic correctly ruled out early in the first half. Lovely move though that got it to there in fairness. And Mitrovic has certainly stung the palms of Rashid with a, a pinging strike. Ardani a little bit late there on the challenge on Al Shahani. You'll be fairly happy and fairly confident if you are indeed an Asaji fan at the moment because you're going to be keeping the Al Halal side down who have seen plenty of ball but have yet to really threaten majorly. A lot of square passing, they have a lot of talent out there. At what point do Al Halal become a little bit? George Foreman-esque. I think I've thrown everything at them, but I can't get a goal. al -Buraik, al -Buraihi, Neymar, Al-Shafrani. Nice little ball through to Salman. Kanu wants to go right, surely. Salman again, what can he pick out? Again, he's looking for the diagonal there, should find... Al Buraik, who stands a lovely one up. Mitrovic makes it one this time. Into the back of the net. That was fairly simple. But the moment that Al Buraik got in behind and stood that ball up, the single mindedness of Alexander Mitrovic just glanced it into the bottom corner past Rashid. Really lovely bit of work. Salman stood the ball up. There was space for the right back to get in behind Alborai, and he just left it up there. And the moment he did that, Mitrovic really had to stoop to conquer. And he popped the header down past Rashid. This is a lovely ball, really inviting. Teases the centre half under it. And it's a lovely glancing header as he stoops as well to put it into the back of the net. Jan Malecki suckered under the ball somewhat. Teased, no doubt, but it's 1 0, and Mitrovic does get the opening goal. Big moments in the game now for the home side. The atmosphere somewhat dissipates for a moment. The crowd have to regroup, and so do the home side here. And I can't afford to give the ball away. Malcolm, Neymar. Wants it on his right foot. Lovely layup to Salman again. Salman tries to drive it through. Al Shahrani, little give and go. Hardani puts it away for the first corner. Just a little moment in the game where you fancy that Masashi have got to hang on to the coattails of the visitors. Neymar with a corner. Decent ball in. Lots of red shirts, get it away. Albert Ike with a shot. Ricochets off the legs of Azari. It'll be a throw on the far side again to Al Halal. Salman, the man that dinked that lovely ball over again, looks to try and put another one over the top of the defence. Jan Meleki with the header away. Shahrani. It's going to go deep. And in the end, it glances off a pair of heads, and I'll leave that one to the judges on the far side, but it appears to be an Asagi throw-in. Body language is always very, very interesting for your commentators during games. 
Is there somebody out there that can just sort of pick up the hosts? And just give the visitors something to think about because they have dominated possession, the visitors, in this opening 21 minutes. They have had the ball in the back of the net twice. Obviously, once legitimately, Mitrovic had a just about three minutes ago. But it's been very much a, a counter-attack philosophy for Nasaji. Alvarez. Inside by Michael. Gets it back, doesn't control it. Essan will come away with the ball now. Azadi tempts Koulibaly into a little bit of a challenge. A wry smile from Khalidou Koulibaly there. Knew exactly what he was doing. Gentle reminder to the centre forward that no matter where you are on the pitch, I'm going to be right there with you. A little bit of a misplaced ball back there to Vahid, has to go back to Rashid, Rashid to Hardani, but that'll clear his head easily. Hardani's down. Holding uh, just a uh, high point of his gluteus maximus. See a, a bony protrusion has uh, just gone into the fleshy part. No, completely wrong. The glutes was flattened on the floor by his own body weight, coming from three or four foot nine. Shahrani with the throw. Neymar wants it short. He gives it in. Very difficult ball that was to Neymar, who'd done well to get it down, but in the end, there's a lot of good play by Haramati to uh, put pressure on it. Referee letting things go. Hardani now. Tracked here by Kanu. Let's drag back. Oh, lovely reverse ball. Far shit. Can he get the ball in? Lovely header away by Koulibaly. Oh, Hilal looking for a flag that's not coming. And Michael deposits the ball long for Al Hilal. Mitrovic battles hard. Vahid with him. Classic Sunday morning football there from Al Hilal, I have to say. Neymar wanted the ball, but not really at his throat as the throw came in from Al Sharani, which then gave rise to a chance for Masashi, which Koulibaly effectively dealt with with a back header. Kanu, Albereich, Koulibaly. Abulahi, Neymar now. Very instrumental in the opening 25 minutes of this game. Little give and go this time by Malcolm, but uh, hasn't come off Azadi now. He's got a chance to take it forward. He needs assistance. Well, he's beaten two or three and he's being tracked by Koulibaly. That goes up for offside to onside and. Ravasi was the man that took a chance that he got himself back on side with that reverse ball, but the flag was neatly waved on this near side. Salman. Kanu. Alburaik. I mean, the pass is racking up for Al Hilal. And they do lead by that Mitrovic goal, a header from across from Alboraik for a lovely clipped ball over the top by Salman. Set the right back in plenty of space, Neymar. Looking for possibly one of the shortest of his forwards up front there. Michael, Michael coming in, but... Um, and then tells him that it wasn't my ball that was wrong, it was your run. Salman. 
And only with a little bit of a Achilles warmer. Neymar, Kanu, Salman. When you have somebody with the passing range of Salman and Neymar, you're two wide men, you're two full backs, and Al Shahrani on this near side and on the far side. Al Boraik really fancy they can run in behind for a 40 yard ball. We'll see very often that they'll want to run in behind it. Here is Al Shahrani who's got in behind from a ball forward this time by the centre half, Neymar. Kanu. Al Boraik. Neymar again. Quite enjoying the freedom of the park, really. Tries to set a ball. Then the inside right position. Bye. Well, a few words with Manning, the referee today. Well, she's not happy with his players head in front of him. Ah, hit Essan. Challenge on the far side by Albereich. Concentration, the big word now for Al Hilal. They've got themselves a goal up. They're enjoying the lion's share of possession. But they need to make sure they turn that possession into sort of tangible statistics on the score sheet, really. Because whilst it's 1 0, that is as close as you can get. To one mistake leading to a goal. Alawais. Abulahi. Kobe Bali with a lot of space to run into. No real pressure on the ball for him. Asagi had already dropped back into their own half. Compact. Malcolm, name up. Again, look to the top of the pitch there and space a plenty of that. That's a loose pass again by name up. Farshid. Abasi. Dragged in the challenge from Michael. Just showed in the ball, took it away. A little bit of bodily contact, and before you know it, free kick. It's a rather rush challenge, actually, seeing it in slow motion. Almost like a yo-yo then, Abasi just popped the ball out in front of himself and then took it away from the challenge as it came in. And a big set piece here on 30 minutes, because... Al Halal have not really been asked any questions or posed any threats from any set pieces and around their penalty area this is the first one of the game in the 30th minute and it's always a measure of for me anyway as your commentator to see how sides deal with it how they set up it's almost like the first service game for a tennis player clipped in not the greatest delivery easy header away Just to go back to my analogy there First service match for any player in tennis is, is, is pivotal. They want a nice, clean, easy service match to get them into the game. They don't want to be sort of juicing it in the first game or else they just know that they've got problems on their serve, they're not feeling right. And that's very similar to sides facing their first set piece. They want it right, they want to clear it, whether they're taking it or defending it. Mitrovic. Kanu, Salman, possession football here. But again, 11 Masaji players back deep in their own half. 
I'd be quite happy to see the ball played across the front of them. But Mitrovic coming in between the lines there, got a toe on it. Free kick there for Mitrovic's challenge as the ball was up in the air underneath uh, Vahid. Vahid and Mitrovic decide that uh, they don't like each other anymore. And uh, we have uh, a little session of um, what I call pushy and chubby. Well, sort this one out now. I'm going to leave this to the officials, who I think are doing very, very well, but I did see an arm go towards Mitrovic first. Whether there was any contact, I don't know. But then the perpetrator of the stretched arm, who may or may not have made contact, also fell to the ground. So, uh... Let's have a little look at this. This is a challenge here. Yeah, Mitrovic is a bit late there on Vahid, who's obviously taken exception to the fact that uh, Mitrovic is not really jumping for the ball, but for the man. And then they decide to talk to each other in a sort of aggressive manner, but it is just words. And then from there in, there was a, a flailing... a flailing fingertip either way, I don't know, but both... And then went down like uh, if you're a boxer. Boxing heavyweights in the 70s. They didn't take much to go over in those days. And uh, fairly sizable gentlemen to both suddenly be on the floor. But uh, the referee Manning is taking his time. After that, it all became a little bit unsavoury. Including the Sarge's players telling their crowd to stop throwing the plastic cups down onto the field of play. But Alexander Mitrovic looking for a potential red card check here on VAR. Rashid is certainly laying the law down to his defenders. And, and quite rightly, it calls for cool heads in situations like that. And Rashid... Maybe not showing the coolest of heads, but he's trying to get his side to concentrate on exactly what is going on. Because if Fahid does get a judge to have raised his hand um, and maybe grazed, touched Alexander Mitrovic, this could be a different scenario coming for the home side. Masaji Mazarandaran. Not too sure it really was a, a sort of Tyson Fury blow, though. Just all sort of boiled somewhat there. I did say earlier on there was just a little undercurrent in the game. With the way that players were crashing to the floor. Trying to persuade the man in charge to... Uh, Take exception to something that was pretty much of nothing. And here we have one of those flashpoints. But that's what I like to see. Marning is completely composed. He's accepting nothing. He's in control of the situation. He's in conversation with his fourth official. And a yellow card is given out this time to Hushman. Is that as far as it goes? Hushman has definitely be brandished a yellow card. Rashid goes over to have a word, but you can see that Marning's accepting of the situation. Almost like he's allowed the children to have their little bit of overexcitement. He's been asked to go over to the screen now. This is, uh, this is potentially worrying. I thought it was all pretty much uh, settled there. 
but he has dealt with the situation amazingly well and he's doing everything that he should be doing taking advice and now he's gone over to look at the screen and this is the moment we're not getting any pictures here whatsoever your guess is as good as mine of what the output is that Manning is looking at. If I can recall what I saw at first instance, it's telling that when Mitrovic goes down, there is an arm going towards him. And then it looked like Vahid then fell down or a player from Nasaji fell down, but I couldn't see anything on the way back, almost... Almost like um, we all do. Try and get away from the senior cry and try and deflect things that have happened. But it's it really is down to that very cool customer in front of you now. He's having a very good look. Sometimes you'd think the, there's an element of doubt with the length of time it takes. He's made his decision, that's for sure. He's looked at the screen, and we're going to have um, here. We get to see it now. Just see on the screen. It's a red card. Hushman gets a red card, and Salman gets a red card. Wow. That is um, caught your commentator by a little bit of um, surprise, but I did say two players made their way to the turf, and Hushman has got a, a red card. And so is Salman. Let's see again. There's the arm. Well, I... I've watched it again, and I'm still a little bit perplexed as to actually what happened. Well, this is um, just a little bit of mixture to add to the mix that we've got going on in this uh, Group D game here in the Azadi Stadium. Both sides down to 10. And to a degree, I have to concur with the, the referee that it was difficult ultimately to pick out. There was such a gaggle of people around. And I think he's done a good job. But if I am Al Hilal, I've just lost somebody that was a creator of the first goal. Great fan of ice hockey myself. And players often go out to get other players in the bin for two minutes to break up the play and do different things. That could be a, more of a telling blow in your commentator's perspective. The loss of Salman, the captain, and possibly Hushman, the right back. But as we said before the game started, the atmosphere was electric inside the Azadi Stadium. The anticipation. And the AFC. Very, very much alive. And this is just a group stage game. Well, Salman... Is still not off the field of play. He's gone over to the far stand to applaud in a rather sarcastic manner. He's taken the captain's armband off. He's gone. He wants to go down the tunnel, but as soon as he gets towards the tunnel, his um, sarcastic applause, one could construe if you're a home fan, has decided that uh, he's uh, going to find himself... Trying to make him 
Self actually gain safety and go down the tunnel. I do like Rashid. That goalkeeper is a really good ambassador for Nasaji. Really big respect for that young man. In the whole of that episode, he's tried to calm his players down, he's tried to calm the fans down, and there he puts a, an accommodating arm around the shoulder and says to his fans, if you want to throw things, you throw them at me as well. What a simple, simple statement, but what a big statement. Hardani, back to the football. Nice toes there by Jan Malecki. Hardani again. Running behind, fancy would have been offside had it made it there. Al Shahrani, Neymar, Kanu. Well, there's going to be a bit of time added on at the end of this um, first half, which will be a quick turnaround before these two meet in December because I think we could still be playing by then the way it's going. Neymar, Koulibaly. Aldorai. A loose ball back to Koulibaly, but there's no pressure on the ball there from the Nasaji players. Already 12 yards back into their own half. And trailing by a goal to nil. Both sides down to 10 men. Alexander Mitrovic scored the goal. He's also scored a goal which was offside correctly for the call from VAR. And he's also been involved in an altercation which has seen two players being dismissed from both sides. But other than that, he's had a fairly quiet first 45. That is said, but a little bit of tongue firmly placed in cheek. Ardani is down. Malcolm is there. And again, it's one of those where you tend to think that a boot's just caught off hand on the turf Rashid Square to Vahid Abasi I wonder if there'll be a change at half time from Al Halal to replace Maybe Canu with Neves with the creativity that Salman provided is now filled fully by the defensive midfield attributes of Canu. Put forward Jan Meleki. Have to deal with this that Arbalai does so. Time for the football really just to settle into some sort of rhythm. Yeah, Meleki. Good header infield this time by Azari. Alois comes out and smothers as is his want and falls on the ball. You can see those three Al Halal defenders, well, including Kanu. They're not pressured on the ball at all. Game plan very much from Nasaji to sit in when Al Hilal have the football. Kulubali looking for the run on the far side of Al Buraik. Back inside, chance here on the volley. Wide of the goal. Michael with the chest down. It really sat for him though, did it? Just popped up. The face says it all. Look at the time and space, you know, he's brought that into his body. It's span up in the air and it's then come down and he's hit it on the volley and yet not one Nasaji player is really closing down. That is a very presentable chance in fairness. Malcolm, Al Shahrani, Hulibali. Stretching the plate, looking for Michael, but a, again, a 
A wee bit too long and strong. Bassi. Oh, that's a poor touch. Mitrovic was almost in there. Flamati atones for his error. One thing that Nasaji have got to do is be a little bit more precious with the football when they get it. And they're not seeing a lot of it. They can't afford to just give it straight back. Neymar. Real chance again. Laid in. Neymar, first touch. Can he finish? What a save that is by Rashid. Neymar wants something else from it, but I think that that looked a pretty good save by Rashid. He wasn't fooled by the second touch, which looked as though Neymar was going to lift it over him. That is a, a record for your commentator, 13 minutes to be added on at the end of the first half. Understandably so, though, in, in fairness, there was quite a period whilst the sending off were deliberated. Shahrani. Malcolm goes inside of Hardani, but uh, got support here from Neymar. Kanu. Oh, but I lovely run this time by Michael. Good covering. Just gave the ball away at the end there. Excellent work there by Babay. Shahrani Mitrovic tries to lay it off to Neymar, just slightly behind him. Break is on. Shahrani's got to get across. Hardani's done well to check out. Excellent work by Cano. That's why you have a defensive midfielder. Made his yards up, broke it up on the second touch. Neymar given a, a little bit of a Nasaji sandwich. Shame, really, that the Farshid challenge came in. Because uh, Neymar had done very well to get away from the, the player. It was a nice touch. Ten minutes left to the first half. All time added on. But Ike, Kanu, Michael. Koulibaly makes the angle. Abulai Shahrani. Neymar again wants to get involved. Malcolm, too much legs on that one. That's a fairly lively first ball out there, but Azardi is the only man in the picture that's got any hope of one trying to get there and two holding it up. As you can see there that not one player from FC Nasaji was over the halfway line. Malcolm. Flag up for offside. Well, I'm not going to quibble on that one. I'm not in line. Oh, Jesus, the man from... Uh, He's Portuguese, so I should say George Jesus. Not the Spanish, which is H for J. Lovely skill in the middle of the park there. Azadi, the man they're looking for. Koulibaly, though. All the way back to Al Weiss. And Azadi, there, you see him look to the heavens as he turned round because it was quite easy for Al Hilal to play a triangle and suddenly they're through to the halfway line. Neymar. Al Boray. Be a lone furry, you fancy, for Azari at the top of the park. Neymar. Just, uh, up against Ramati. Is it too easy for Neymar at the moment? Does he need to have a little bit of 
hot breath down his neck when he's on the football to make him maybe produce what has given him such a great career so far but popping the ball around really well here Al Shahrani Malcolm Neymar Classic style now, just getting inside the 18-yard box. They'll start to pick up the pace, and Malcolm's done really well. Hardani sticking to his task. Good play by Hardani. They have to still work, though. Jan Maleki. It's only 1-0, and that is the simplest way of putting it. And... Uh, Whatever way any manager dresses is up at half time. This game is still one well and truly in the melting pot. Real chance here now. Ramati. Azadi couldn't quite get it. Took his eye off the ball. You fancy just at the last moment as the challenge came in from Abulaihi. They've won it back by Farshid. Farshid to Babai. Babai. Well, he's had a go. A little too high. Midway through the period of 13 minutes to be added on. I may be in the minority, but I do love a good air horn in the crowd of football matches. Takes him back to my youth. Really does. Neymar clips it out, looking for the run on the far side of Michael. Nicely headed away by Vahid, who they're playing with a back three now at the moment. Michael gets it back, though. Lovely bit of work outside. Abasi across the face of goal, looking for the run of his uh, attacking midfielder from the left, Malcolm, but couldn't quite find him. And Maleki, Hardani. And Maleki back to Rashid. Options here, but in the end, Farshid and Al Bulaihi have a little stare off. Just that little ground swell underneath the surface of this football match, so it wouldn't take a great deal to have another flashpoint like we had. When the two players were sent off, that's a lovely ball. Michael Mitrovic was caught in the box there. And the referee is pulling it back for a free kick. The yellow card for Jan Maleki. They're looking for the penalty. He's <laughs> come a long way to say it's a penalty. The centre-half there, Al Malai, he's come all the way up the field of play to say that that was inside the box but definitely you can see there with the replay that it was outside but the sheer fact that he's come from 40 or 50 yards behind the play to say it was a penalty is, is quite quite amazing you've got to admire his confidence dangerous position though for Nasaji to defend here the good thing about it is that most normal players will find it difficult to get the ball up and down from about a yard outside the 18-yard box. The bad news is that they have world-class players in the likes of Neymar, two Brazilians in Malcolm and Michael, and Alexandra Mitrovic, who is no good from 12 yards, as I've seen in the past when he's been playing for Fulham, but could be pretty lethal from uh, 18 and a bit. Rashid does not want his wall to break. I feel to a degree that it's going to be Neymar that strikes this. Their horns really building up, but Neymar's seen and heard it all in the past. 
Eyes fixed on the prize for Neymar. Rashid won't see it until late if he does get it through the wall or by the side of the wall. Is Neymar going low and strong, or is he going to try and flip it? He goes into the wall, and it's defended by his own player. Belaihi was the man that blocked it, but Aid puts it back in, headed away. Ulubali with a straight ball forward, flicked on by the head of Malcolm. Easy for Rashid to come and retrieve the situation. Well, the two managers be making their minds up on would they change things around? Will they come out in the same formation? They'll also be looking at the game situation and exactly where and how they set their stall out for the second 45. I fancy that going into the break, Masaji will certainly, with their manager Mehdi Rahmani, be thinking, you know, we've done OK. We've been uh, passed to death, if that makes sense. We've seen very little possession, but we're still one and truly in this game. It'll give these players belief that, you know, a little extra could be the difference well, as the George Jesus says for Oh Halal he'll be wanting a little bit more structure out of the possession they've got because they haven't really really looked to have put this game to bed as would warrant such possession and territorial terms in this football match and that would possibly be a concern we're still in the first half by the way if you have just joined us that 57 minutes there's 13 added on after a, a flashpoint in the first half saw a long time VAR check and saw two players sent off and that was uh, Hushmand got a red card and also Salman got a red card one from either side so both sides down to 10 that man in your picture, Manning, the referee has been has dealt with a, a really tough first 45 and he's blown the whistle here. It's one apiece as we go to the break. Beautifully set up. Mitrovic with the head up from a beautiful dinked cross in by Alborak, the right back. That's all they have to show. One goal ruled out for offside from Mitrovic and a flash point of two players going off the park. But at the break here, it is Nasaji Mazandaran nil Al Hilal one.
هواداران محترم تیم نساجی ایران پرتاب اشیاب در این زمین تنش ایزدگیران محبوبیت های رو برای تیم به همراه خواهد داشت با هشتن تیم در ایزدگاهی با تیم در درگذاری با تیم همان عوام رو همکاری کنید به امید خود از بازی با محبوبیت تیم شما همراه خواهد
Hello and welcome back. Masaji make their way back onto the field of play. They have a job to do. They trail by the one goal to nil. Words of wisdom now. Have they been sprinkled over there by their manager? Matty Ramati. Has he galvanised his troops? Has he sent them out with the right game plan? George Jesus. Al Hilal side still inside there. Dressing room on the far side of the stands. Very much the side that were playing the better football in the first half. Very much in control of the first half. The mindset has to be changed by Nasaji, who line up with Rashid in goal. They have a back three now of Jamaleki, Vahid and Essam. Two holding midfielders in Farshid and Babai. And then it's Hardani, Rahmati and Abassi behind Azadi at the top of the park. And Halal make their way out. We don't believe there's any changes presently. The fourth official isn't loitering with intent with his board on the far side of the pitch, so we believe it's going to be Alois in goal. Al Shirani, Al Bulaihi, Khalidu Kubali, and Al Braik as a back four. Kano holding as a midfielder. And then it's Malcolm and Michael on either flank, either side of Neymar, with Alexander Mitrovic, who's been central to a lot of things in the first half, including the goal scoring. One he put into the back of the net, ruled out for offside. One he scored from a heather from an absolutely beautiful cross from Albaraik after a lovely dinked pass over the top by Salman who now finds himself sent off along with Hushmand after a flashpoint in the first half. The other team and the team that really does need to be mentioned is our team from the Chinese People's Republic the referee there Ma Ning he's assisted by Zhu Fei and Zhang Cheng fourth official on the sideline Wang Di and we do have DAR and Fu Ming is in charge of that. And we're off and running for the second half. And a second half that, with the balance of things, Navbahor almost beat Al Halal in their first game. That was a tenth minute injury time equaliser for Al Halal. They have beaten Mumbai City in the other group game, so they're on four points. As the long ball goes through on this near side, but the run of Michael is uh, not going to get there. The table positions very much now for Hall with four points. Just behind them on three points are the side wearing the red shirts. Oh, that's a loose pass there. They've given another ball away. Real chance here, Albert Ike. Down in the crumpled heap goes Essam, but Massage you don't need to be doing that. But just going back to that table position, Navajo have four points, Mumbai City have no points at the foot of the table. And in between, Al-Halal currently on one, possibly four, if they hold on to this lead. And uh, Masaji with the three from the first game. It will make very interesting reading should the results stay that way as we move forward. But there's enough legs in a group game here to tell quite a story <laughs> okay <laughs> down goes the player but Ramati is the man that's uh, in close proximity to Michael that man in your picture has got our eyes just about everywhere including and when the throw gets taken. Alvarek oh, throws it in. Mitrovic with the chest. Thumb along by Aramati. Nice cushioned header by Balaihi. But Shahrani can't deal with it. Marty 
trying to find some space in the middle of the park again stares and glares after bodily contact after the ball is gone from both sides here Vahid Avasi popular opinion but uh, for me the man of the match for his uh, sportsmanship is uh, Rashid I think he's been absolutely outstanding today Chance here for a break, Hardani trying to get him behind. He's on his own, though. And elects to get a corner. And it's the first one of the game, as I can make out, for Nasaji. Farshid will be the take-up. it away from goal good header away there by Balahi oh, well they haven't got it away Vahid wins it back but uh, can't turn the ball back across the face of goal Alois looking unduly perturbed with the state of the game. I've seen many sides come unstuck when a lady equaliser goes in. Mitrovic, nice chest down, runs into the body of Ramati. Ramati feeds it forward. Farshid now. Wants options. Hardani was the one. Azadi tries to run through the centre. That's a nice bit of defensive work by Obalahi. Well, Shahrani just clips the ball forward. Now a chance for Malcolm. Neymar. Next to go back to the opposite side. Malcolm again. Time and space here. He's got support, but he's going to have to try and take on Jan Maleki. That's the ball out of Kanu. Kanu with a shot. Well, that's thumped into the body of Rahmati. Head injury is cited by the players. And uh, caught him on the side of the head. Head injury protocol observed finally there by Manning. Just tuning in. There was 13 additional minutes at the end of a lively first half, which uh, rather big flashpoint in the middle of it, which saw two players dismissed, one from either side, in a rather an instant that blew up from absolutely nothing. Saw so Salman sent off for Al Halal. And saw Hushmand sent off for Nasaji, so we still have a level playing field in terms of numbers. George Jesus and his clipboard. Neymar. Oh, but I. Michael Neymar again. Michael's got the return here. Michael's in, fires it low. Good save with the outstretched leg of Rashid. Good break here by Abassi as well. Ardani now. Azari. Can't miss those chances. Azadi with a shot, and he forces a really good save away by it. Otherwise, uh, again out of nothing, and that's how slender the advantage is 
Bye bye. That's going to be offside, I think. Azadi will bring this down. It'll go out of play. Now the flag goes up for offside. But that man in your picture has just really rasped the shot in. Otherwise, so. He might say that was one for the cameras, but it was away to his right and it needed saving. But out of nothing comes something. Fifty-four on the clock. That's so actually still in the palms of the visitors' goalkeeper. Neymar was he caught late? He thinks he was. Our referee says no. Neymar's down. Alborai gets it back to Koulibaly. Quite surprised that the, the whistle's gone there. Not actually a head injury. Interesting there. Here's the chance. It's a good save by Rashid. Just stretches the old right leg out. Kidology in all sports is a wonderful thing. Mind games, wonderful things. Normally, you have two protagonists maybe playing my games, but Marning's having to deal with 20 players who are turning something small into something major, which is then led by protestations from either side but what I do like is when you look around at the other professionals who know what has happened is a little bit of codology just a wry smile and a look down and they know that they've been drawn into something that they should have known better looks as though there could be a change coming up for Al Halal the midfielder Nasser coming on and he is going to replace Malcolm. Will it be a like for like? Hasn't enjoyed a terrific game, Malcolm. But uh, Nasser comes on and it looks as though it could be. Four at the back, two holding midfielders, two playing wide. But we'll wait to see. They might just chase the back of wind around. Koulibaly. Albulay. Neymar back on the field of play. Albulay. Sharani hugs a touchline. Neymar comes in, just turns it round the corner. It's not a not, not a. Half decent ball either. Hardani wants the throw. He's trying his hardest to. He's got it. Nasser got there. Obviously took a little bit of shin pad on his way out. Well, authoritative protestation there by Hardani. Well, like he having a bit of a trouble there. Oh, well, Hardani surely has gone down. Rather too easy there. And Albulahi is not too impressed. Clearly, clearly. The ideology of, uh, I have to say, Financial gain in sport to try and seek every advantage you can sometime. And the advent of 35 cameras dotted around the pitch can sometimes undo the theory behind that. Malaki back to Rashid. 
Azari goes over the top of Al Bulahi. Koulibaly. Kano to Al Braik. Michael. My word. Thrown in quickly this time, but uh, given away and a real chance. Neymar trying to peel him behind. Can he get it? He can do. Gets the first. What a goal that is by Neymar. And if they came to see him, they have just seen him absolutely fizz one into the back of the net by Neymar. Really rifled it in there. Rashid could do nothing more than try and get across to his left-hand side. But the substitute, Nasser, combines with Neymar. And it's an absolute crisp finish from the Brazilian. Really, really sweet finish. A little give and go. My word, he has absolutely rasped that shot across the face of goal. Essan never really got close enough to him. Should have closed him down a bit more. And Rashid was just ending up grasping away to his left-hand side. But the pace and the power of the Brazilian really has possibly settled this tie. I know there's a long way to go, but Neymar's finish has certainly put Al-Hilal in a very strong position. Well, the player that was dropped from the first game is going to make his entrance onto the field of play. And Farshid, the man that uh, replaced him in the lineup, will go off. Zamaran comes on to see if he can influence the game for the home side. Azari Stadium falls a little bit quieter. But those that have possibly come to see the Brazilian Neymar have just seen a wonderful finish from him. The anticipation, the expectancy, the fervour around this tie for the Iranian side just starting to ebb away. Now Hilal have controlled most of the football. Neymar dinks one over the top, the run in here. Oh, he just couldn't get that. Al Shahrani, you can see the anger in him. The left back getting a long way forward. It's a very, very big moment in the game now for Nasaji. They've got to pick themselves up, they've got to go to the finishing line, and they've got to make sure that as a home side. They at least give Al Hilal something to think about. Hardani popping up on this near side, faced up by Kanu back inside. Ramati's looking for a foul he's not going to get, and Khalidou Koulibaly's on the charge. It's maybe shown too much of it, he's got away from one. Ball squirts away on the far side, real chance for another goal here, and it's turned off the inside of the post and away. Rashid wants calm. But again, it was far too easy. Koulibaly has brought that forward. That touch looked as though he was going to lose out, but he managed to toe-poke it through. And Neymar this time slipped it under the advancing keeper. That hits the base of the post. That could have been the points well and truly sealed for the visitors. Nasser. Nice Shahrani, Neymar. Al Halal have looked uh, quite comfortable. I have to say, the previous winners they lost in the final last year to Urawa. Looking quite confident. The shock was that they were a goal down until 10 minutes into stoppage time against Navbaho. Seems to have washed away somewhat at the moment. Mitrovic trying to wriggle his way away from players. Abbasi tries to clip it out, but at the moment it's very much one-way traffic again. 
Al Hilal pretty much comfortable on the football, finding space for all their players. And when managers often sit down and talk to their players before games, they'll be talking about the strengths of a side and the weakness of a side. And there seems to be a lot of strengths at the moment for Al Hilal in their side. Everybody looking quite comfortable on the football. And of course, no lack of talent. Neymar. Lovely ball near side. Albreich. Going to take it on again. Pulls it back to the penalty spot. Jan Malecki, the man to get the ball away this time. Michael down the line. Albreich sits his man down, but... Uh, can't control it, Vahid gets the toe in, but again coming forward, it's Michael again, the Brazilian. Neymar slightly behind him. Canu, Albereich, almost toying with the opposition now, Neymar. Lovely little ball in, and I think Michael got himself caught in two minds there. Wanted to reverse the ball back inside for Neymar, but there wasn't too sure if he should just take a touch and line a shot up. In the end, he was caught in two minds and it was cleared. And look at that, that's aimless. Azari at the top of the park puts his head down, wanders towards the centre circle because the ball out of the back from Nasaji wasn't good enough, inaccurate, and it just gives Al Halal the chance just to settle on the football once again. And they don't need a second invitation to do that. They are two goals to the good. And they can play football any part on this pitch because they've got to get... And they know that the home side have got to come and try and find something in this game. Lovely swung crossfield ball. Nasa finds Mitrovic, who's going to take on Jan Malecki. Sends the ball back to al Sharani. Slightly lack pace to Neymar, but uh, still the Brazilian involved. Finds Michael, Michael to Neymar, back to Michael. Michael with a rasping shot, Rashid right behind it. Just looking at a few of the faces and a few of the bits of body language I can see from our camera shots close by the pitch on our replay monitors, etc., etc. And there's a few arms down by the side, there's a few heads looking to the floor here from the Iranian side, Nasaji. I'm not saying they will give up, but some of them look as though they're beaten already, which is uh, not what the commentator wants to pick up, because if he can see it, then the home crowd also will see it. Azadi with a run in behind. A lovely layup by Neymar to Michael. The back lift fires a big shot in very, very quickly. Rashid very, very much behind that one. They have been... If they have come to see Neymar today, he scored one. He's been very, very pivotal in a lot of the stuff that Al-Hilal have done. Although not even the brilliance of Neymar could actually have got something out of that uh, goal kick from al -Wais. Well, he tries to watch his counterpart as some play it down the line, but Mitrovic wanders himself back into the heart of the defensive area of uh, Nasaji, he's done his job, he scored a goal, he's had one disallowed for offside. Tend to think sometimes about strikers and their worth in a game and how much work they do, you might turn around and say, well, he's not done a great deal, but he's got his goal, and that's really all you want from a striker, a goal a game is an absolute return and a half. Neymar looking for Mitrovic again, he tries to pull inside Essam, but the ball's just a little too long. A 
Maleki to Vahid Hardani. Vahid. Yes, sound playing in the center of a three now, but little things like that. You can understand the pressure the back have been under. But loose play when you haven't seen a lot of the football and giving possession straight back to the opposition who are 2 0 up and enjoying possession of the football on your own ground. Just got to make, they have to make Al Halal work harder for the possession of the football. Michael with a run in behind Vahid sets off slowly, but uh, does enough cutting Michael down into the corner. Just a lack of belief at the moment in the home side. Good press here from Al Hilal as well. Abbasi. Esan. Jan Maleki. They just haven't really possessed, I should say, a, a real attacking threat. Somebody that uh, Al Hilal have sort of almost had to keep an eye on. Bye bye. Zardi. Very disciplined from Al Halal, who are, are back in numbers already. Zahid. Zardi. We have to do it the hard way. Abasi. The overlap comes from Hardani. A cute ball. Abasi, can he pull it back? Can do. Koulibaly flails the shot away. What a shot that was. They're going to scream for a goal, but I tend to think that that is going to come out. And Babai was the man with the launch shot in. What a crack and a half that was. That's exactly what Nasaji needed. Come on for head injuries here. I'd like to see this again, but it's a flailed foot from Koulibaly. And Babai came in, absolutely rasped it. That came down on the line. Lovely ball. Koulibaly wasn't really on top of it, but Babai thumped it. I'm honest with you, he couldn't have hit it any better. I still think the crossbar is sticking as we speak now. VAR is in operation. I'm not sure if goal line technology is in operation. I would have thought it would have been for the Champions League. So normally, if the ball, the whole of ball, had crossed the line, then the wristwatch or the technology wristwatch would have flashed up. I'll try with another replay, but it's it is just so very very quick. And that with the angle down onto the line. It's all to do with the what part of the ball actually crashes against the crossbar. Four or five inches between the centre of a football and the top edge. And literally we're talking about an inch lower and that maybe spins backwards towards the goal. An inch higher, it comes a little further forward. Medis Rahmati is uh, looking to make a change. Still, though, 
I believe the man that's actually down on the floor is Ramati. That's an interesting pitch up, isn't it? Ramati is up. Suitably jazzed and uh, dressed for the occasion. Wow. It is. The man that hit the floor there was wearing the 88 shirt, which was bye bye. It certainly is. Um, Well, back into play. I'll leave the deduction of where that injury came from. I don't know, but uh, kind of misses out. I'll, but I can go straight to Michael. Michael feeds it inside. Mitrovic with the layoff. Excellent covering by Abassi. Mitrovic with a centre forwards challenge. Fans Hardani. Hardani turns inside of Alborai. Azari. Abasi carries the ball forward, but again, when he looks forward, there's just sky blue. Or the blue waves, we should say, in front. He's done well to pick up a free kick. We're into the final 15 minutes. And it's been that sort of forward momentum that has caused Masaji problems in this game. Ramati. Samarhan. Chance of break forward here. Bye bye. Hazard has brought it down nicely. Too much to do ultimately. Crossfield Bourne, there's a break on here, and it's real pace shown on this near side by Michael, who's turned it back goalwards. Mitrovic won't get there. Excellent position from Rashid. Masaji now realising that time is becoming a precious commodity in this game. The second one, it was Babai that uh, went down first, and then it was a second clash of heads. Thank you for the replay there. Just tidied that up for me. Ardani. It's quite a nasty cut as well. So fair play to the young man for returning onto the field of play. Ardani's now got to go off and... Uh, Timely little intervention by George Jesus. Albert Ike throws it in. Time and space for Nasser. Involved in the second goal. It's this man Neymar on the ball. Fired in. If you have been a Massage fan listening into this game or watching this game with us today. There will be a degree of uh, disappointment with the way your side has performed in front of a very, very good crowd here. Abassi caught late this time by Nasser.
A couple of changes now for Nasaji. Coming on to the fiddle play. Ala Abbas. Coming on the forward player. And also coming on Luigi. Big moment in the second half. That shot that came off the crossbar. Could that have changed momentum in the game? Just made uh, Al Halal maybe fall back on their haunches to forget what they had. Ball into the box, decent header away on the far side by Al Sharani. Zamaran, Bishi, Bishi now. Well, entitled to have a go, but his teammates will look around and say, "Well, make sure you work the keeper." It's a thumping shot by the bite. Bit out of waste in your picture, all ends up. Thumb down off the crossbar onto the line and, and out. Could have had a bearing on the final few moments of this game. But as it was, the sporadic effort that has really come from the home side didn't go in as Michael plays the ball to Neymar. Neymar, who again has a enough about him to seek out Al Sharani. Koulibaly through to the feet of Kanu. Lovely feet by Michael. Michael to Kanu. Mitrovic with his arms up. It's all a bit dainty and all a bit uh, close quarters, but they managed to stay on side. But it's not long again and it's not sticking in the right places. Nasari was the man that was replaced this time by Ali Abbas. Ala Abbas. Neymar. That ended after the ball had gone, but it's going to be carried forward now by Zamaran. Just like a little timer inside of players' heads that they suddenly think. We need to do something. We need to press forward. I don't actually think it's instruction from the sideline. It's just the professional experience of not wanting to lose a game of football. Someone just a little offside there. It's wandered forward. Well, the change is coming now. Michael is removed from the field of play. Yeah, run down the inside of the post almost, it looked from that angle, didn't it? Well, Sharani is also making his way off the field of play. Abdul Hamid Saud comes on. Frame by frame. Substitute the West German goalkeeper from 1976. You can slow that one down as much as you like. Oh, I'm pretty sure that 66 now wouldn't have stood. Any English people listening to me saying that one? But it's still 1 3 2 anyway. Right. Um, who'd have known? Who knows? Long ball forward. Mitrovic the target, but it clears his head and goes out of play. Well, can Nasaji stop this from meandering away to a victory for the visitors Al Hilal? That is the question. Ardani working hard. A little bit of a physical difference between a, what looks from the touchlines as a cruiserweight and a light flyweight. 
Bahid with a throw. Ala Abbas gets it down to Hardani, goes back for the return. Really wants to be crossing that ball to himself, but it's uh, cleared at the back post by Mbalaihi. Hardani again. Gets clattered by Saud. Flick ball over the top, Zamar Han. Gets a bit on it, but it's easy for Alwais by his right hand post just to gather for. I need a few more seconds up. Until Hamid Saud there. Homegrown talent. And that says it all. It's a, a leisurely stroll forward with the football here. Kanu. Popping the ball around now. They got that cushion. Koulibaly. Kanu. Yes, up. Very disheartening for a side when you're chasing the football. Makes it so important that when you do win that possession back that you make the most of it. And it's been very hard for Nasaji tonight against her Saudi Arabian opponents. Mitrovic waited for that. Stolen by Ersan, but uh, again, Al Halal win it back. And uh, I don't think Kanu was uh, too impressed with that decision. But the man that uh, did crack the crossbar. Looked almost as though he was trying to stretch his calf out there. Almost with an attack of cramp. It's been a pretty professional performance from Al Halal. They have uh, come here. They knew that there was a, a fervent atmosphere inside the stadium. Amati is now getting his uh, head dealt with, replaced by Biji. Al Halal came into what was a, a fairly partisan. Home crowd, a lot of excitement around. And they knew they had to weather the storm. They had to draw the sting of the occasion out of the crowd, which they did. Own goal, no, not an own goal. A disallowed goal for Mitrovic after a great approach play by Malcolm and Neymar. But uh, ultimately, just offside in the build-up. Was then followed by a Mitrovic header from a beautiful little dinked ball over the top of the CG defence by Salman. And then the cross was just clipped over the top by Alborek. Mitrovic to guide in. Teasing cross it was. He almost stooped to head it in as it dropped over the head. Of the centre half who had been sucked under the ball, which was Yamaleki. And that was the, the moment that the game. And the situation really favoured Al Halal. They continued with a territorial and certainly a lion's share of possession. Nasaji have really worked hard, but uh, they haven't been careful enough in possession of the football. And Al Halal have had a lot of possession. And then we had one goal in the second half to date. Fine strike by Neymar. Nasser feeding him in. Neymar, edge of the box, cracking the shot across the face of Rashid into his bottom left-hand corner for 2-0. Flashpoint in the first half, which saw a, an eruption of emotions and two players sent off, one for either side, but the ball's now with Zamrahan. Clipped in, right across the face of goal, and that is one of the finest right hip passes back to his own goalkeeper there on the far side of the pitch by Al Balai. Uh, the incident 
caused the consternation was a real flashpoint in the first half. Uh, Mitrovic jumped into the centre half without really looking to win the ball. The centre half at that point was uh, Rahid, and then before you know it, everything had got a little bit lively in terms of uh, people questioning each other's reasons to be on the field of play. Arms were raised, people went down, and the referee Marning just stood there impassive, waiting for the situation to cool itself down before then being asked to view the monitor and sent off two players, Salman for Al-Halal and for the home side, Hushman was sent off as well. Since then the game has behaved itself but I have got to express a, a great deal of support for our referee Marning. I think he's uh, really controlled the game well. It had a possibility of being a little bit uh, livelier than it's ended up being. And he made sure that he was in control of the situation from the start. Anyway, back to the game. Near side, Vahid. Samaran. Vahid again. Can Asaji mount a late comeback? Hardani tries to turn it around the corner. Saul gets it away. Kanu. Neymar. Albalahi. Just sort of strolling through the end of this game. Now we're into the final 90 minutes of regulation football. I still think it could be a few minutes. We've had the head injury for Ramati, which took a while to sort out. Closest Nasaji have come to scoring. Thunderbolt from Babai, which hit the underside of the bar and came down on the goal line. Pose there by Kanu. Knew the challenge was coming and dealt with the challenge. Run by Saud in behind. Tied up by Hardani, who has been a hard work up. He's worked up and down the line. Subtle change at the back is that Al Buraik has dropped into midfield. More changes coming the way of Al Halal. Alexander Mitrovic is 90 minutes. Appear to be over. Score of the first goal. Involved in the goal that was ruled out for offside. What a beautiful ball by Salman that picked up Alborite. Just chipped it up. And Maleki got himself under the ball, sucked so under the ball. The and there it was, Mitrovic just to bend down and head it in. Shekhli comes on to play at the top of the park. Shehri with his first touch, he'll get a corner out of that. Good work there by Shehri. Hamdan is always on, is also on. We're in the 14. We've got nine minutes of time to be added on. Neymar with the corner. Treated the fans that have come to see him today with a fine goal and a decent performance. Poor corner, though. Chance here to be put by in. It's 3 0. And I think that's Altan Bakhdi that shot gone in via a deflection. Shari is uh, taking the plaudits. I wait to see this one again, but it came out. The smiles are on the faces. 
Yep. A shot by Altan Bakhti, and Sherry's there to redirect, as we would say in the game of ice hockey. Fine finish by Sherry late on in the game. Two substitutes combining. Well, I wonder about his substitute appearance. There is a goal check going on for offside. It just has to be carried out. Interestingly, though, Manning has allowed the game to start. And the VAR check is complete for the offside. The scoreline now really reflects the superiority of Al Halal in this game. They've done a thoroughly professional job. They've had to deal with a very partisan atmosphere inside the Azadi Stadium. Chance here, Saudno in behind. Rashid's out. Good stop by Rashid. Saji playing for pride now. Ardani gets brought down. Bye bye. Yuji waits for the overlap. Samarhan. Yuji looking just to clip it in. Real chance at the back post here. Ala Abbas had a free header there, got inside Saud. What a presentable chance laid on there for Nasaji. And it's maybe catching the ball slightly on the way down. Hung in the air well. Maybe needed to try and put that down towards the turf. Slipping away, Mitrovic with the open up. Neymar with a glorious finish midway through the second half to make it two. And Sherry with the one where he's just redirected a shot into the box for three. And that man in your picture gets my man of the match vote. I know I have no purpose in life giving men of the match out, but it was very close, first of all, for that man that control what it could have been a, a situation that could have bubbled away into um, niggly fouls all over the pitch but he stamped on it he said no I'm in charge I'll give what I see and what I see is right and I'll take advice when I can we've seen brilliant sportsmanship from the keeper for Nasaji Rashid, I think he's been an exemplary figure in, in what was a, a lively opening 45 minutes. Made some saves as well, all being, being beaten by three. Shehri. Not the man of the match in terms of his ability in the game. Neymar has dictated when he wanted to play, how he wanted to play and what he wanted to do, and he has been uh, full of flicks and tricks. I want to talk about those those dangers, those strengths and weaknesses. His strength has uh, given Al-Halal the purpose and the wherewithal to find the right mixture to take the three points home with them, to go on to four points and join at the top of the table. Nav Bahor, who beat Mumbai City earlier on, but... Asaji will still breathe well because they are third with three points. And they can afford, with the way that first those first opening group games went, the luxury of knowing that uh, they can come again in the group. A 
It's actually looking for the ball for the run of Ala Abbas, but uh, it's going to go all the way through to Al Awais. Again, moving into the final moments. And a game in which Saudi Arabian side played a very controlling part. They've managed this game really well. Nasser, Kanu, I thought the loss of Salman for the incident in the first half with Hushmand might have upset their rhythm. He certainly was knocking balls around with accuracy and aplomb in the middle of the park. But they have just quite simply won the ball back at the right times and dealt with things in the right way. And Nasaji have found it very difficult to, in boxing terms, lay a glove, one would say, on the opposition today. But that isn't without the hard work and effort. Again, they're looking for the ball over the top. Saud should be first here. Hardani, who has been a, a real hard-working, grafting man up and down this left-hand side for Nasaji. Works hard, but a referee Manning says that's enough. And a comfortable victory for Saudi Arabian side. Ahalal, three goals scored. Mitrovic with the first... And in the second half, Neymar with a blistering goal. Finished off by a redirect with Shetty. Obviously the incident in the first half where the two players were sent off in an altercation that just blew up out of absolute nowhere. Salman going off and Hushmand had a big implication on the game. But ultimately, Al-Halal run out by three goals to nil. The victors on a night where Nasaji had an anticipating crowd waiting but it hasn't gone their way. Nasaji nil, Al-Halal three. good when uh, especially in uh, Iran here uh, this is uh, when we'll give the team confidence and uh, we'll uh, uh, play in the next game thank you so much for attending to this interview thank you thank you, thank you Habibi thank you اولین بازی خونگی رو تو استادیوم آزادی سیش واگذار کردیم دوباره مقابل تیم پرقدرت الهلال نظر در مورد این بازی چیه؟ خب از قبل میدونستیم بازی سختی داریم ما همه تلاشون رو کردیم هرچی داشتیم گذاشتیم تو زمین ولی خب میگم با یه تیم پرقدرت و پر افتخار باز داشتیم تیمی که امسال میبینید که چقدر ستاره گرفته و از فقط از هوادارمون نسخه می کنم این همه راز زحمت کشیدن اومدن حمایتمون کردن انشالله بتونیم تو بازی های بعدیمون براشون جبران کنیم آرزو موفقیت می کنم برای دوم مسابقات مرسی تشکر ممنونم تشکر دمتون گرم باید لوگو لوگو 